uh, this week, uh, on Tuesday evening, the wrestling world was shaken to its core uh, as Tony Khan tweeted out that uh, Jay Briscoe, one half of the 13-time Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, had passed away at the age of 38. Uh, he died in an automobile accident. Uh, his two daughters have been hospitalized uh, and both require substantial surgery. They are in critical condition, I believe, but they are both stable. Um, and they require substantial surgery in order to get back to, to full health or to get back to where they were. Um, I just kind of wanted to use this time to just kind of reflect and kind of get your take on everything that's been happening. So I'm going to start with you, Mo. Uh, how do you feel about this this whole situation? Jesus. With, yeah, <laughs> it's heavy. Um, but it I just took to know me back. On. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, it just took me back to the same, like, shift that happened when we lost Brody and how it didn't mm. feel real. And then I'm over here searching all over Twitter because – I, I saw Tony Khan write it and then I saw like Dave Meltzer and I saw everyone else writing it and it just, it didn't feel real. I'm like, dude, we just watched this man last month put on like one of the greatest tag team matches, at least I witnessed with FTR and just like that, the man is gone and to hear the way that he went out was him being a father. Um, and it bought like a tear to my eye, man. Cause I'm just like, I don't know Jay Briscoe. I don't know him personally. Um, and I know that, um, his name is very controversial due to like his gimmick and all that stuff, but I'm sitting here reading, um, personal antidotes that everyone provided on Twitter, you know, like Cody, you know, Sami Zayn, um, of many people that were in ROH, I think even Seth Rollins said that there wouldn't have been a Seth Rollins without Jay Briscoe. Um, I, I believe in even the commentators or the ring announcers from ROH uh, shared like think pieces about the whole situation. And it just, it brought me to tears. Cause it like, again, say what you want to say about the comments, but like I got off of that, that this was an amazing person and that this was a man and to see, uh, uh, to see him go out just again, doing nothing, but, just trying to go about his day-to-day -day life and being a father. That's just, wow. 38 years old is insane. And the timing was just terrible. <laughs> terrible considering that his brother's birthday was the next day. Terrible considering that, I don't I don't know the ages of his two daughters, but, um, you know, I, I, I still have um, my father in my life, and I'm petrified at 25 years old to imagine not having a father, um, to be so young and see to, like, the, the connection that, he had with his daughter, you know, watching cheerleading videos of them practicing with each other. That brought like a tear to my eye, man. <laughs> I'm about to cry now. I was like thinking about it, but it's just like he, you could tell he loved being a family man. Um, and I can't imagine what his wife is going through. I can't imagine what uh, his kids are going through. Um, from my knowledge, one of them I think is half paralyzed. I don't know if that's temporary. I don't know if that's a permanent thing. But it's just, it's tough all around. And it's just like, I I'm still gathering, like, my thoughts towards it. Because it's just like, damn, like, it's really insane how life just comes at you that fast. And just like that, this the smallest thing could happen. And you're gone and everyone's life is just changed and shifted. Um, it, it feels cold. It feels cold. It's the best way to describe it right now. This the temperature in the wrestling world just feels very cold. On, on top of the other news that's been going on in the world um, right now for wrestling, this has to be the saddest one. Like I said, I had the same chills as with the loss of Brody. Um, and I feel like it's going to take some time for fans to recover from this one. Um, I'm going to pause my thoughts right here and give you the mic on this. What is your reaction, I guess, to the situation? First off, I want to send my love, my well wishes, my my prayers to his family, his wife, all of his peers. Um, there's an old saying that I saw a while ago about legacy, where they said that legacy is not what you leave behind, but it's about what you leave in people. And when you hear these stories about about uh, Jay Briscoe, you can tell that he left a lot of love. 
he left a lot of love in people and he left a lot of hope and good cheer and good character. And yes, you know, obviously there were controversial comments and made in the past by him, but you can tell that overall he was a good man and that he was a good father, obviously a, a, a all timer when it comes to the sport of professional wrestling. I think it's safe to say that the Briscoes will go down as one of the best tag teams of all time, easily the best tag team in Ring of Honor history. Um, and, and sadly enough, they die champions. I mean, the Briscoes' last match was against FTR to win those Ring of Honor tag titles. And, you know, but more importantly than that, and what kind of supersedes all of that is just... His, his, man, it's, it's just difficult. Like, from a personal standpoint, these are one of those things that are very, very hard to process. Because, like you said, he, he died being a father. He was taking his kids to, to cheer practice. And you see videos beginning to circulate of him with his daughters. And seeing the daughters in the state that they're in, or hearing about the daughters in the state that they're in now. And we don't know if they're, like, paralyzed or severely injured. But going through all of that and then not being able to call your father or reach out to your father, I know is just traumatic and disheartening on just like a different level. And um, my heart just really just goes out to them. And, you know, it, it one, like you said, it kind of does remind me of the death of Brody Lee in the sense that upon his passing, you heard all these these beautiful stories of who he was that I feel like a lot of us as fans didn't know about. We just see Jay Briscoe, the performer. We just see him, the wrestler. We just mm -hmm. see him in the ring. And, you know, we don't really get a chance to get a, a, a ringside seat at his life enough to, to know who he was as a man. And I think that now we know. And I think the only thing that we can kind of take from this is to just love on your loved ones, be present. Like life is short, death is real and random and it sucks. Um, but I think overall, um, I just wanted to send my love and my prayers out to everyone that has been affected by this tragedy, friend, family, peer. Um, this isn't the easiest thing to cope with and to deal with, but you know, this is, this is kind of where we are, and, and I'm just sending my love and my prayers and all of this to everyone affected. I um, think that's that's really all that I can I can say about this. Rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. Um, yeah, that's about all that I can say. Um, I think we're just gonna move on from that because that that felt right. Um, we'll we'll talk about the other things. That's well said. Yeah, we'll talk about the other things and what to unpack from this later. Um, but that felt right. We just need to grieve on that. Um, mm -hmm. 